What up? Hi. <laughs> it's like, so weird. Act natural, man. Like, come on. Anyway, we are, this is our second weekend out. My man. Okay, so I official our third day out. You guys haven't seen any of the videos yet, but y'all should see the first week coming up here. We have a goal today. How many How many do you think we get in a day? Probably three or four, five. All right, between three and five houses. I'm actually gonna keep track today on how many houses we knock on. I'm gonna mark it on something to keep track on how many we knock on. I just kinda wanna get a, the logistics about it. But a lot depends on how the houses look. Huh. I'm just saying. If they take care of the yards, if the house is looking nice, they'll be more likely to say, hey, you know, go to pay my curve because they want it all to look nice. To this if day! That, and the house is looking busted, we keep it moving. All right, we don't need to waste our time. So we're going to go on the main strip today. Hopefully we pick up between three and five, like you said. But let's get to it. I'm going to have them take a little bit of video today while we spray painting. You guys haven't seen that yet. You guys seen me touch it up, but you haven't seen me spray painting. So we're going to get that today. All right, guys. So we have the first one of the day. We're doing the standard address. It's four, four number address with the, with the flower here and the flies that are attacking us. <laughs> but this is house number 13. 13? Yeah. This house number 13, and uh, we got our first one. So that, that's how we do it. I'm going to have Joshua actually take a little video today of when we were actually spray painting it. Excellent. That there. And so we're going to knock this out. This is a standard address with the symbol here. Does it go this way? Uh, yeah, do it that way. So standard address with the logo. It's $25. So we're gonna go to knock this out. We're gonna let him lay down the stencil and then I'll come back with the video. We finished laying the stencil here. We got it all lined up right. We finished boxing it off. That's about, about seven minutes. And we're about to spray out the background. And this time I'm gonna have Joshua video take the background. So we're going with the standard white. Been sitting for weeks, so I gotta make sure that we shake it up real good. Nope. Always gotta remember the gloves. <laughs> you may be okay having paint on your fingers, but I don't. Nope. I don't like it. Don't like it. Then you gotta scrub it super hard. Get it off. Not on road like that. Alright. This, you may want to get on this side. I think the wind is going that way. So what you want to do, you want to do a uh, light tap. That way it doesn't be too wet. That's specifically in the winter. Once it cools off, it's gonna take longer for the paint to dry. So right now in the summer, this is in direct sunlight, so it should dry pretty fast. So we're gonna give this about two or three minutes to dry up. 
and then we'll be right back. So we got the stencil laid down. With this stencil, it's a little bigger than we want, but I thought it would be kind of cool to, it gives it like a different effect, like a coming off the frame effect. You'll be able to see it here shortly. Yep. But Joshua laid the stencil down. Let me give this a test spray since this has been sitting for a week. Give it a test spray. And seeing the concept goes, is we're just gonna, we're gonna make sure the stencil is laid down good. And this one with the stencil, you don't want to spray in an angle because the spray paint will go underneath the stencil. You want to come off the top. And same thing, you're going to get spray paint on your hands, so just be ready for that. try to do you want to try to pull the stencil up at the same time so you don't worry about it smearing so I'm doing all the prep work taking all the pieces of tape down and now should be able to pull this up I like that all right you want to come in closer you zoom in all right so when you zoom in you can see it's a little blurry on the outside that's no worries we're simply going to spray some white spray paint. If you guys saw in our previous videos in the cap, we're going to take a uh, paintbrush, a small paintbrush. We're going to touch up some of those blurry edges. And this will be golden. I really like how this one turned out. Good job, though. Thank you. All right. Let's go. And we knocked it out. We knocked that one out. And it's finished. On to the next. All right, we wrapped up the day. It's supposed to be about 102 degrees today. We got out, started knocking about 10.30, 10.45. We knocked on how many houses? 39. 39 houses we knocked on, 39. We dropped flyers on a lot of them. We got how many? One. We got one out of the 39. I like total. Which is about 25 minutes worth of work, physical work that we're actually doing. The rest was more marketing. So can you look at it as a loss? Absolutely not. Because either way it go, we got the flyers out. So you never know when they're going to come back and schedule online. So I would say it's a successful day. Any day you get out there and spread information about your business is a successful day. So, so that is it. And we're going to head home before it gets super blazing hot. I think right now it's about 90 degrees. And... Uh, call it a day what you got to say about the third day successful. Hmm? successful successful it is there we go we'll see y'all next time